No hay ninguna esperanza de vida tras el impacto. Uh, actually, it's, it's a really hard work to, to make a, a movie here. In science fiction, fantasy, suspense, this kind of movies sometimes are difficult to write because of, uh, and in Spain it's not used, uh, we are not used to see this kind of movies. Uh. So eventually I, I was very lucky because I had the support of uh, Uh, two big companies, uh, Banderas, Antonio Banderas, the producer, uh, Antonio Perez, the producer of my strong films, and uh, Jose Ibanez from, from Pentagrama. Tres días. I was in Berlinale in the last uh, one year ago in the Berlinale, and I received a call from my manager who was in, in Berlin. Uh, told me, oh, Javier, are you in Berlin? And I was there because I had a, a, a girl Uh, a great girlfriend there, and I was spending some, some days. And I have a meeting with uh, Antonio Perez, who knew about my short films, and, and he, he suggested me to, to make a movie with uh, his new partner, who was uh, Antonio Banderas, um, because they were making a kind of seal to make and promote young talents in the south of Spain and, and to make different kind of movies. So they, they offered me three scripts and I chose one of them and they're probably the most difficult script in my life. El meteorito se dirige hacia la Tierra. El impacto final tendrá lugar dentro de 82 horas. I took one month and a half to, to prepare it and to change, I'll do a lot of changes and, and eventually uh, we changed the title where uh, was uh, El Verano de la Roca now is Tres Dias and we have a, a different, a bit darker movie uh, than the original one. A casa de Tomás. The script is uh, somehow is very international. The the way of the uh, of the behavior of the um, of the characters, the story is not a local story really. And I wanted to give a, a international point of view. Actually, I, I used to do this with my short films. I love uh, to make movies not just for my country, uh, but uh, for all the countries and for all the people, for all the audience. It, it's the best, I think. And that's why in the writing I try to to delete all the reference to the south of Spain and just to, to make the, to, to change the, the story to, to an international point of view. Festival de Malaga is uh, right, right now is the most important festival in Spain. Um, uh, well, uh, to to win here is uh, really a big support for for your career as director and for for the career of the uh, of the movie. Hopefully I will be making movies again and good movies, hopefully, and fan movies and fantasies, suspense, thriller, because this is the genre of movies I love. Um, I don't know really, but uh, I am really now studying the both possibilities. I am receiving some offers from the studios in Los Angeles, a city which I know very well because of my experience with my short films and with um, Universal, particularly Universal Studios. Uh, I know them very well because of uh, war I received 10 ago to, and they invited me and so they were a kind of my fathers there in, in Los Angeles. And somehow I, I think I'm going to to chase the best script. Uh, I, I really I don't care if it's in, in Europe, in London, in Los Angeles. I'm going to, to to make the movies I believe on, and I'll try to be always um, 
um, respectful with my uh, way of seeing the movie uh, and hopefully with uh, more budget. <laughs> 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 <laughs>